Okay, you guys. This is something that y'all don't know about me, but I do have this three drawer stand that I keep my extra stuff in. On the bottom drawer, I do keep like scarves and head. What are these called? I do keep scarves and beanies in. I know y'all don't see me wear a lot of beanies, but I have a big obsession with beanies and hats and scarves and stuff. So that's what I have here on the bottom on top of some organizing stuff. My blow dryer and my flat iron. But in these top two drawers, this drawer, I do keep a lot of my extra stuff for my clients as in makeup water bottles spray bottles i have a couple of storage containers in there too and in this top drawer i do have nail stuff so with this here i would like to go through everything with y'all and declutter because y'all seriously i have so much extra stuff and i haven't even used it majority of all this hasn't even been used I do apologize if y'all hear the kids I want to go ahead and just throw away some stuff because I haven't used it and not really just throw it away give it away or maybe do a giveaway I don't know y'all tell me you're gonna enjoy then just keep watching okay you guys so I forgot to tell you this whole setup is like in my restroom and that's another reason why I want to kind of declutter everything because in the new place I do not want this to go into the in the restroom so for starters I did originally buy these for my lipstick tubes and stuff like that I seen somebody on YouTube use these there it's just an ice tray but it's the circle water bottle ice trays so I don't know if I want to keep this or get rid of it so on this side we're gonna do the keep and then on this side we're gonna do the giveaway so I'm gonna put this in the middle right here because I'm not for sure the ice trays I think I do want to keep only because I could put my single eyeshadows in here so I do believe I'm gonna keep that and yet again here's another one and I did buy all different colors only because y'all know I like colors so I do have these two and I think I am going to keep these because I don't necessarily have to use them in my makeup drawer but as you could tell it goes for other things as it goes for other things like paper clips markers and calculator scissors some like screwdrivers and stuff so i think i'm gonna keep that and use it somewhere around the new house okay so moving on i know for a fact i'm gonna get rid of this i did buy this too and it's a craft storage box but i would keep it but it is small crafting like as in beads and stuff and I don't know what I could use it for. I picked it up to do um, to melt some foundations in there or concealers type thing, but I never did it, so why keep it? Next, we have the Elf Duo Cream Eyeshadow. Never used it. This one is in this one is in black licorice never used it it's a cream eyeshadow so i'm gonna give it away this here is just the empty mac box that i got a set of brushes in and i do believe all i did was keep the bag yep i just kept the bag and i don't have the brushes in there because i used the brushes so this mac bag can go so what's next like these milani crystal lip glosses i got at the dollar tree um don't know i guess i'll put it in a maybe 
I have this NYC Sun and Bronze bronzing powder. It's open, but it is barely used. So I think I'm going to keep it. And once again, you guys, this is all for like my clients. This is a backup drawer. So therefore, like a lot of stuff that isn't used, of course, it's supposed to be for backup. I am going to keep the spray bottle. I don't know. I don't know about this spray bottle. I think I'm going to keep it and try to use it around the house. I found these at the Dollar Tree, but some of them don't spray right. So I'm going to try to keep that one. And then at the Dollar Tree, I also found these dispensers. And I used them for like makeup removers and uh, toners and stuff like that. I can say I'm going to keep these because it doesn't only have to be for makeup purposes. And I did find another one, so I'm going to keep that one. I am going to keep this nice spray bottle is a silver one but I do like this I can use some cleaning products or some hair products in it y'all I got another one like you see what I'm saying I be buying extra stuff just because I do have some wet wipes I'm gonna keep them because you can use it for anything I also got little bottles like this the little travel size bottles so I'm gonna keep that it doesn't have to be used for makeup purposes, but I will keep it. And see y'all, I like I use so much stuff I just be trashing, leaving trash everywhere in here. Alright, so we have the look fabulous, not frozen, needless, no more. And this is a Dr. Brandt. What is this? It's a wrinkle relaxer. I don't know, you guys. I'm going to put this in a maybe pile. <laughs> I'll be getting stuff and I'll throw it, I'll throw it in each drawer and be like, you know what? I'm going to use it, but never do. So this is going to go in a maybe pile. So I also got some lip wands that I got off eBay or Amazon, maybe Wish. I am going to keep the lip wands. It's like a thousand of them. Um, I do have this, this LA Girl Shimmering Loose Powder. It's an eyeshadow with a brush. Y'all, yeah, I'm going to give this away. I'm sorry. This stuff, I don't even know why I still have. It gets so messy everywhere. Here's another spray bottle. going to go ahead and keep. And I do apologize if my, if. The footage is shaky. I do have the camera in my hand. I do have these Adrian. I don't even know how to pronounce her last name. Vitadini Studio Lip Glosses. I did get from a co-worker one Christmas when we did a Christmas swap. I'm going to keep it. It's a pretty silver color. So I'll keep it. Maybe I'll use it for just myself. I did find another one of these bottles. I do believe this is... I don't know what is in here. I can't even open it, but I do have it. I am going to smell it and see. I think it's makeup remover, but I'll keep that. I do have all kind of hand sanitizers in here. This is the Snappy Apple Scented hand sanitizer. There's no question about it. We keep sanitizer everywhere. Here's another one gonna keep I do have this creamy petroleum jelly skin softener for dry skin it's by assured it's a dollar store brand I'm gonna keep it who doesn't need petroleum jelly but why do I have it in my drawer I have no idea so I do have this and this is from one of my subscription boxes which is the it's a thermal spring water and it's for sensitive skin I don't even know what this is I'm not for sure what this is for so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. so my camera cut off but all I was saying is I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this 
it is a thermal spring water I don't know if it's for the hair or for the face but it says sensitive skin so I'm assuming it's for the face uh, you know what I'm going to put this in a maybe pile because I'm not sure I do have some wet and wild lashes which are extremely hideous to say I love wet and wild but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that um, what else I do have this wet and wild brow pencil and I don't know what color it's in but I have already a lot of them even though I love my wet and wild I'm gonna give it to somebody who could use it and then I do have this Santi uh, color my eyes this is a matte eyeshadow in a blue gonna get rid of it I mean you guys I peeled the top of uh, the wrapper off but I've never used it so we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna get rid of these I remember buying these at Walgreens they were 99 cent for a pack of sponges it's the eye applicator sponges black no that's blue and purple I'm gonna get rid of them I never used them I do have this wet and wild what is this it is a shimmer palette and this is in boozy brunch I don't know if I can open it with one hand but y'all can see it I think I'm gonna keep it for now I haven't used it oh no it's not new I mean it is new I never even opened it so I'm gonna keep it and see if I ever use it I do have these so I do have all these like lip stickers I have the floor one I do have this red and black one the pink polka dot and I also have the eyeliner ones that look like that yeah I don't know if I want to keep these or give them away because I seriously doubt any client will want these on their face but I do have some in my own collection so I do believe they're gonna go in the go pile so I do have what is this this is a elf bronzer palette it looks like that I use it from time to time and y'all know the lighting is not great in here but I do use this from time to time it only has like two shimmers and two mattes so I am gonna go ahead and keep that and I do have this eyes on the 80s palette yeah I barely opened it and have never used it so it's time for me to use her because I have yet to use it and I think this is my second palette I have one in my own collection so I'm gonna keep that I do have this is this a lip palette I do have this eyeshadow palette that's from my online schooling it's called the QC makeup Academy they did send us a collection of makeup like a starter kit yeah I use this only once so I think I may want to give this away I mean they're all shimmer palettes none of them are none of them are matte uh, matte colors but the quality of the shimmers are really good I just never used it so what do y'all think so I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep it yeah I didn't know how far I would go into this drawer but it seems like I'm keeping everything that I just haven't used so I have another NYC Sun and Bronze and this one is in yeah this is a uh, Montiki Bronze let me see what the other one was okay this is Coney Island Glow and this one is Montiki Glow uh, what is it Montiki Bronze so I guess I'll keep both of them I guess I don't know 
Y'all, this is not easy. I'm not good with letting go makeup. I do have these spoolies, extra spoolies that I got from Shop Miss A. So I am going to keep those. Here's another one. I'll keep it. Now, I do know I want to get rid of this LA Colors liquid makeup. It's a foundation. This one is in the shade. I don't know. This one is in tan. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. Now my BH Cosmetics one. I think I am going to keep this one. This one is in medium olive. So I think I am going to keep this one. Because I only have a few vanilla babies. And I think it will match them. I do have some makeup wipes. That I got from a subscription. And I don't even know if these are dried out yet. Yeah, I've been having these in here for a minute. Yeah, they're kind of dry. They're dried out. I'm going to go ahead and toss these. I am going to get rid of my Hard Candy Concealers. This one is in medium, and this one should be light. Yeah. So I have the light, medium, Hard Candy Light Brights. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. These eyelashes I used, I think I had cut one and didn't like the way it looked on her. So I'm going to go ahead and chunk these. I have another Milani lip crystal lip gloss. I'm going to keep it because it's a pretty brown. I even have this, y'all. I'm going to chunk that. So I do have this. I think this is Nika K. Yeah, this is a Nika K. It's a sheer glow bronze. I never used it, but maybe I should use it as a highlight for myself or a client. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep that. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. Alright, what is this? So we have the Huda Labo. Huda Labo. Replenishing Hydrator. And it's a deep hydration with super super hyaluronic acids. It bu it boosts it boosts hydration and plumps fine lines. This is a lightweight fragrance free. I think I may want to try that for myself. I don't even remember having that. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. I'm gonna get rid of the lip tint. This is from Walgreens as well. I don't know if it's a specific color, but it looks purple. I'm going to go ahead and chunk that. Okay, so this e.l.f. shimmer lip gloss, I am going to go ahead and get rid of. This one is in Believe. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I am going to get rid of my Wet n' Wild Full Coverage Foundation. This one is in Fair to Light. I am going to chunk that. And here's some more wipes. Throw it to the side. This LA Smolder Air and Smear Proof. This is a liquid liner. Oh, this is a blue one. This is in navy blue. I'm going to keep that and I'm going to try it for myself. Maybe I'll like it. I have another one in black. Y'all, come on now. Look at this. This is a liquid eyeliner in black as well from LA Colors. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to put those in a personal pile. I do have LA Girl, this LA Girl liquid eyeliner, and this one is in black. And I know I'm going to keep it because I like these. And then I have this Sephora collection. It is the Color Wishes. And they, I think all of them have two a piece in them. I can't remember. Yeah. They all have two a piece in them. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this because I never pull for these itty bitty things. Now we have the Elf. This is the Elf Little Black Book and it's the cool edition. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I do have the Elf. This is a highlighter and this one is in... Mellow Moth. I'm going to keep it because I always like those. I have this Avon. 
yeah, I'm going to get rid of her. She's a little champagne color. it will be pretty for a bra bone, but I'm going to get rid of her. I never used her. I do have this Hard Candy Duo highlighter. And I remember liking this when I first bought it. So I think I'm going to keep it. Yeah, I'm going to keep her. Yeah, we're going to keep her. And then I do have this multi-tier 76 makeup kit. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm saying ooh because I never used her. Okay, so she looks like that. I do believe this top part comes down. Yeah. Top part come down with lipsticks right there. This top row is some eyeshadows. I don't remember how it go. Oh, there it go. Oops, and I just scraped it with my nail. So here's some neutral colors, some bright colors, and then you pull it over again. And you have the bronzers, the blushes, and some highlights. So, okay, that kind of swatch kind of good. Y'all, what should I do? Okay, that black ain't the bomb, but I mean, seems like the color payoff is good. I just never used it. Okay, see, now that blue makes me want to keep her. All right, y'all, I think I'm going to keep her. If I don't use her within the next month or so, we will be doing this again. So, I do have a brush holder from Real Techniques, I believe. It's a stand-up type of brush holder. No, this is from Royal, Royal Lankin. I'm going to go ahead and give that to somebody who may could use it. I even have rubber bands in here, y'all. I don't know what for. I have batteries. I have extra wipes laying around. So I'm going to throw that away. So now we're down to the nitty gritty of the bunch. So we have lipsticks everywhere. We have Wet n Wild. We have Shiny. We have, who is this? Avon. We have Love Me by Makeup Essentials. All going to somebody who cares. We have a pencil sharpener. We have the liquid elf HD blush giving it away. I have a wet and wild. This oh, this is old, you guys. Well, not old, but this is back in the day. It's the Fergie collection and it's the high shine lip stain. Giving it away. Got some more wet and wild. She's gonna go. I have some black eyeliner. She's gonna go. Um, what is this? We have, I don't know what the world is, sample oil and it prevents, okay. We're going to get rid of her. Don't know what that is. We do have the Eva NYC. This is the Hungry Hair or Treatment. Giving it away. I also have... The Lumini Bright Now Vitamin C Day Cream. Gonna get rid of her. Well, you know what? The day cream I make you. We got a Shani's blush in the shade. No shade. There's not a name. So we're gonna get rid of her. And we have the Maybelline Color Whisperer and it just says 75. We're gonna get rid of her. And we have some more Victoria's Secrets. We have the Yes To. The Yes To has been open. It's a chapstick, so I'm going to chunk it. But I'm going to get rid of the Victoria's Secrets Brilliant Lip Shimmer. I think it says Fuchsia, but it's really, really small, so I'm going to get rid of her. And I do have a Clinique little set that came with something is two eyeshadows 
I held on to this for a minute thinking I was going to use it, but I'm not. So I'm going to get rid of her. I also have, this is the Maybelline Cover Stick. And this one is in Deep Beige. Y'all, I want to use this and see if it'll work. <laughs> I really do. Oh, no. Never mind, y'all. Look how light that came out. Oh, my gosh. Nope. I'm going to get rid of her. And, yeah, it's another wet wipe. I don't know what that is, so I'm chunking it. This is a part of into one of those dividers. All right, you guys. So let's go to this maybe pile. I'm going to go ahead and keep this spring water. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the need, uh, Dr. Brandt Needless More. Needless No More. I'm going to get rid of that. And this Milani Crystal Lip Gloss. I'm going to get rid of her. Now, my only problem is I think I'm going to keep these if I don't use them. Then I'm going to get rid of them once and for all. So let me put the drawer back together and then I'll show you guys what I'm looking like now. Thank you guys. So this is what we have left. I did figure out what was in that bottle. It is rubbing alcohol. So safe there. But this is what we have left. And it's not as full and junky as it was. This is everything we're getting rid of. Which is not all that good. But it's a start. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If y'all would like to see me declutter this, uh, this drawer again. Within I'll say three more months. Go ahead and like this video. I'm pretty sure I would either use some of this stuff or go ahead and let go most of it again. I'm starting to like these declutter videos. So I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Let me know what product you liked or what product would you have seen me get rid of. So until next time diamonds. Deuces. See you later.